Hi there, uh, welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Uh, when we last left off, uh, this home homeboy here was uh, pulling his straps, and, or and now he is still pulling them. Yep, he's just been uh, keeping them suspended this whole time. Uh, but anyway, we did, uh, well, uh, we, I, 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 oh god, okay, yeah, the, the snapping got me for got me there. We had an idea of what we could present to prove that this was not, in fact, what he's saying here, it's not, in fact, the case. And it was his, uh, or this fountain pen, which I now have reason to believe does not, in fact, believe to belong to Ray, but rather belongs to uh, right Ten Mini Memo. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, shove that in his face. <clears throat> Uh, many memos on. Until now, I've had a firm belief that newspapers are in the business of uncovering and publishing the truth. Ha! You're spot on there. The press doesn't lie, which is why I'm proud to wear the emblem of the show you news on my arm. In a way, that's, uh, that's more many memoism. Many memoism. <laughs> uh, sadly, though. It seems the journalists who write for those papers don't always share the same passion for the truth. <laughs> yeah, got him. Wah! Wah! What are you suggesting with those recriminatory words, Council? Uh, many memos on. Do you recognize this fountain pen? Gah! I've been... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gazooks, kid. You got me. This pen was found at the scene of Miss Brett's death. In fact, the murdered victim was gripping it in her hand as she died. What are you? What are you? If you look at the barrel of the pen, you'll notice that its owner's initials are engraved there. R.M. For Riotaro Marahodo. <laughs> yes, thank you for bringing that up, Council. The initials of the accused. Ray Mimbami. <laughs> Is it a coincidence, I wonder? That your initials are also RM. Now, write in mini memo. RM. That, that's, that's horse dung. Can't you see? One of the central tenets of mini metalism is being a pencil user. Yeah, to be fair, he does, ha he does have a pencil in his hand. And yet, as the court will clearly be able to see on your right hand, yeah, you do, you do have what looks like to be ink uh, 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 upon your right hand. Uh, also, it seems like you should have cleaned that off <laughs> by now. There's a very obvious blue ink stain. Hmm, it would appear that he must have rather carelessly left it somewhere recently. Your favorite fountain pen, that is. What? Horsey horse dung! Man, I can't believe he just called my ideas horse shit. Mini Memo son, is it not the case that before she died, you met with Giselle Brett in that beach hut? Also, yeah, I do like I like I like this bit when whenever this music kicks in. It's pretty nifty. Objection! I did it! Why should we listen to this absurd nonsense? It's nothing but another excuse. Exactly. Show your news will stand behind me all the way. I deny everything. There must be as many people with the initials are in as there are stars in the night sky. The defense has neither the time nor the inclination to count every star in the sky. Eh? And there's no need anyway, because this pin has more to tell. Yes, there is another clue. A clue that undeniably proves who its owner really is. Ugh, well in that case, counsel, the defense will now show the court where this alleged clue lies. Of course, Your Excellency. I know exactly where it lies. 
to be uh, quite clear. Bada boom, bada bing. Uh, it's it's the it's the emblem here. Wait, no, I didn't mean to examine it again. <sighs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to, I not mean to examine it again. I I, I know. Okay. Hey, got it. A, a unique, another unique voice clip. As well as the initials, there's also an emblem on this fountain pen. An emblem that you will, of course, recognize. Many memos on. Um. Ah. Uh, goodness me. It's, it's the emblem of the show you knew. Yep, and that, uh, that it is. In other words, the owner of this pen is an employee of the Shoyu News, whose initials are R.M. Suddenly, the stars in the night sky don't seem so numerous, do they? Well, Mini Memo-san, how do you respond? Nah. No! Order. Order. Explain yourself, witness. Hey, it's like Gina when she has her hat on her face and her shock animations. You guys kind of have the same hat style, the style of fashion for hats, apparently. Ha! 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 So, this is how the mighty Supreme Court works, is it? Using coercive tactics to have well-meaning citizens real uh, harmless secrets. I've used nothing but honest tactics. I mean, yeah, I don't see what's coercive about being like, Yo, this pin, it clearly belongs to you. Uh, maybe you should have fucking, like, washed your hands before you came to court, my dude. Alright then, fine. I won't try to hide it anymore. Yes, not long before that grim tragedy unfolded. I, show you a new supporter, on behalf of the public, conducted an interview with the Englishwoman. An interview? You... you never mentioned this before! When exactly was this? As I said, it was before that evil, evil little student girl showed her face in the hut. It couldn't have lasted more than two or three minutes. That's all. It was just a brief exchange. Ah, but it came to nothing. And as we many men would... Uh, and as we many men would say, the people don't pay their dues for unworthy news. Yeah, that, that's a nice little catchphrase. However insignificant you deem it to be, this court cannot overlook the meeting between yourself and the victim. You'll testify now, under oath, about the precise nature of this meeting and what transpired. I yeah, got it. Uh, yes, alright, alright. But... I've one condition. C condition? In all good conscience, I couldn't. In all good conscience, I couldn't speak out alone about this. You need to call back the earlier witness, Sozaki uh, Natsumi-san. It's, it's, it's so so Seki-san. Oh yes, go to my notes here. That man has a secret of his own. Embrace yourselves, because it's not a harmless one. It's big. What? Oh shoot. What kind of, what kind of secret could Suzuki-san have? Many, 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 many states that one man's secret is every other man's front page story. Very well. I will grant the witness's request in this instance. Officer, summon the earlier witness back to the stand. Suzuki-san hiding something? He, what, what could he be hiding? He's a pure boy. Surely he's not a, le a wheezy little liar, dude. You know what I mean? The witnesses, this is secrets. I asked the English woman for an interview, but she declined. So I left the hut without making a fuss. Then, watching secret from outside, I saw the woman being stabbed and the other witnesses come running. The detective realized the victim still had a pulse, so I ran off to fetch help. That's when this writer man here asked a woman a very significant question. But I didn't say anything about that in his testimony. 
which is why many metalism demands I'll reveal it now. Oh geez, what the fuck did he ask then? You, you mean to say the victim? The victim regained consciousness. This, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get that before. What, what the fuck? Ah uh ha! -huh. Uh, ah, oh, well, um, and when she did, you, you decided to ask her a question. Uh, that's, um, t true, y yes. He did, he did. And that's not all. That's what the woman gave him a very definite answer. An answer that incriminates the accused. But, this is preposterous. Why am I only hearing about this now? Why didn't you mention this before, you... You yokel hack? It... 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 It wasn't even a conversation! Yes, I did pose the withering English rose a question. I don't deny it. But she could no longer speak. She was barely conscious, even. But what the fuck did you say? You can't just be... Quit, quit yanking my chain, man. Just fucking tell me what what, what, what what you asked and what she didn't say or said. Council Board of Defense, I expect a thorough cross-examination to be conducted here. The court must and will know the truth. Absolutely, Your Excellency. The reporter is claiming that Miss Brett implicated Ray somehow. What on earth could have happened in that hut? Eh, might, might have been some pizza going on. Hmm. Curious indeed. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna need to press press these guys. Uh, well, do some press, do some serious pressing. Hold it. You asked her for an interview, you say? Well, of course I did. I wanted to ask her about the incident she was involved in at the end of last year. About the case in which Doctor John H. Wilson lost his life. Yeah, that's not the way I phrased it. Many men, many men of wisdom call for straight talking. Why did you murder Dr. Wilson? That's how I put it to her. Yes, that sort of talking is as straight as a ruler, I suppose. Ask every question as if you're asking for a menu at a restaurant, I say. It's the best way. A veteran at the paper, pa ta ha the paper taught me that. And how did Miss Bretta answer? There's one simple phrase. Mystery is a woman's charm. Woo! That told me. So I waltzed right out of there. Really? Something about that doesn't quite seem to fit together. Leave every room as if you're waltzing in the dance hall, I say. It's the best way. Damn, I guess well, fucking did Ashley Graydon uh, teach you that one? A veteran at the paper taught me that. Gee, how many fucking people do you know at the paper? They walked in secret from outside. You, yeah, you touched me. You took the photo, I presume. Hold it. Curry. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Ah, that was very persistent of you, considering that Miss Brett had just turned you away. Uh, persistence wins the prize. Any any minimum member will, will tell you that. Let them think you've left, and just when you lower your guard, they lower their guard. That's when you swoop in for the scoop. Okay. That's. I'm pretty sure that's the kind of thing that gets a fucking restraining order filed on your ass, but okay. And the fruits of your labor are all too apparent in this telling photograph. So I'm sure the young yokel student would rather not be reminded of this mm, damning evidence. Actually, it's thanks to that photograph that we managed to identify this witness. And now if you found me, I'll tell you whatever you want to know. I've got nothing to hide. I'm sure. Please, do go ahead, witness. The court is eager to hear what you have to say. And try to stop me. And a story to tell here, and I'm going to tell it. The detective realized that the victim saw a pulse, so he ran off to fetch help. Hold it. And did Jose not mention that before? I mean, I don't know if you remember that part. I don't even know. I don't remember him mentioning that part exactly, but. I might not have picked up on it. And so Zeki-san remained behind of the hut? 
Yeah, that's right. Yep. <laughs> that author friend here. What a blubbering wreck. Shaking all over from his legs to his toes. Mustache twitching, eyes bulging. I mean, that does kind of describe uh, Natsume to a T. What do you expect? You, you don't know the t t terrifying troubles that taunted me whilst traveling abroad. Back behind beautiful bars. They'll be coming for me shortly. That's all I could think. I felt as though I, just, as though I were grasping for air, drowning in a sea of cold sweat. Of course, sounds like Yusan. His experiences in London have scarred him deeply. Uh, hmm. Exper okay. Oh, the fact you mentioned experience is in the plural. That's interesting. But yeah, no. I, I guess considering he was uh, on trial for a murder, uh, and for someone who had gotten stabbed, seeing someone else stabbed in the back probably, uh, you know, you know, it sent him into a bit of a, a bit of a fit, as it were. I can't exactly blame him. As the world seemed to close in around me, I quietly recited a prayer to Amida Buddha. Eternal emptiness, empty eternity. The end is coming for me, surely. No sutures are to resound in my courtroom, please. And now, we come to the crucial part. That's when it happened. That's when this rider man here asked the woman a very significant question. Hold it! Okie dokie. What, what question? What exactly did he say? <laughs> well now, you should hear that from the horse's mouth, I think. Don't you, Mr. Rider Man? Ah! Out with it, you yokel hack! What did you say to her? What did you say to the dying Englishwoman? Well, in truth, I'd... I'd been catching crabs at the water's edge and building castles in the sand, you see. That's a, that sounds like a, a, a fair t way to spend time at the beach. Well, the seaside, the seaside is a place to be at leisure, I suppose. Even for a grown man. But then all of a sudden, from that little beach hut, a young girl's panic-stricken cries for help pierced the air. Ray! I ran up the beach to see what was happening, to find the defendant leaning over the collapsed victim. As soon as Inspector Husanaga saw Miss Brett on the ground, he sprinted off to get help. And then, just a moment later, I heard a faint moan. A moan from the dead Englishwoman. I nearly jumped out of my skin! But what did you ask her, Sozeki-san? Like, literally, what the fuck, man? I asked her, who did this to you? Don't protract this any longer. How did the woman respond? She didn't! She said nothing in response. But, but, come on, Sozeki, my guy. I, mean, I, I, I need, I need you to, to, to be up front with me. Don't give me the fucking blue balls. When in the stand, you will answer the questions asked of you unambiguously. Now, without evasion or reticence, I demand that you amend your testimony. I will! Okay, yeah, well, what exactly did you say? I asked her who did this to you, uh, but she never replied. Hmm. She had lifted her trembling finger and pointed it in the direction of the defendant. Oh, okay, so it's a two-part statement. I see. Hold it. So you tried to find out who the culprit was. He who asks a question is a fool for a minute. He who does not remains a fool forever. I feel like I've heard someone... Okay, that's a famous quote from somewhere. Did fucking Abraham Lincoln say that? Or was it Benjamin Franklin? And having been labelled a criminal twice during my tried time in Great Britain, I was quick to make up my mind. Better to be a fool for a minute than to remain a fool in prison forever! How, however, you've indicated the victim failed to respond. Is that correct? I know why. 
I know why the English woman said nothing. She was ignoring me because of my stupid mustache. Because I'm Japanese. Okay, well, considering that, okay, that, 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 that that's actually a fair assumption to make, considering that she is racist and stuff. Oh dear. Suzuki-san has really just de developed a dislike for the English, it seems. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, it's not entirely understandable. Or, I mean, it's not entirely uh, blamable. Having read the report on his time in Great Britain, I can't say I'm surprised at his xenophobia. Okay, again. I don't, is that really xenophobia? Oh, well, I, like I said, given Giselle Brett's character, that's actually a pretty... I mean, I wouldn't put it past her is all I'm saying, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the English woman didn't ignore you at all. Did she, Mr. Rider Man? Hmm? Well, yes, all right. She did respond in a manner of speaking, I suppose. She just lifted a trembling finger and pointed it in the direction of the defendant. Hold it. Huh. That doesn't exactly seem, uh... Like a good sign for us. <laughs> uh, Miss Brett pointed a finger at the defendant. So, Zeki-san, is that really true? It's not easy to stand here and say this, but... When we first entered the Peach Hut... The English one was sprawled on the floor before us, with the student girl standing on the far side of her. And when I asked, who did this to you? The English woman summoned her last ounce of strength, to point a trembling finger at the back of the hut. Which was, it can't be denied, in the direction of the student girl who stands accused today. No. Sozeki-san? Why on earth did you neglect to mention this in your original testimony? B -b 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 Sticks, I say! This is not a British court of law. You will respond in Japanese. Huh. Okay, so that was him speaking English when he said fiddlesticks. Huh. Uh, yes, of course. The English woman did point her finger towards the back of the hut, but... But I was trembling. And she was trembling. And everything was a blur. And thinking about it, I feel as though perhaps she was pointing in a slightly different direction. Actually, no, not slightly, in a very different direction to where the, the student girl was standing. To somewhere at the back of the hut, where nobody was standing at the all. Okay, why the fuck do you say that she pointed at Ray then? Look, keep, come on, keep, 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 keep up, man. Or keep, keep your story straight. You mean that your memory of events and the direction in which the victim was pointing are both unclear? Yes, that's it! Unclear! I'm very, very unclear! Attention. Your Excellency, surely this proves a matter beyond all reasonable doubt! Yes, the woman may barely have been conscious, and yes, perhaps her finger waist wavered slightly, but there can be no doubt that this was an attempt by the victim to confirm the identity of her assailant. Why? Because, as the court can, the court can see, there was no one other than the accused in the direction that the victim was pointing. It is now abundantly clear that no one besides the accused could possibly have committed this crime. Hmm, I am inclined to agree. And, in the absence of any credible argument to the contrary, I believe we can now conclude this trial. No! <laughs> the headline's right in itself. Yeah, Dash and Lawyer's Hope's Dashed. 92 point across the whole page. We'll do an extra edition. This is a serious blow, Suzato. Unless we're able to identify the true culprit and to substantiate our claim with evidence, the judge will give his ruling and the trial will be over. But that's impossible, Father. We don't even know how the crime was committed yet. 
impossible though the task may seem, we have no choice. We must think back over everything we've learnt thus far. Somewhere in all those details, I'm confident we'll find the clues we need. Ray gave us her account of how events unfolded in the defendant's antechamber before the trial resumed. She told us what happened at the precise moment Miss Brett was killed. The Englishman was sitting at the back of the hut, listening to what I was saying. And then, a moment later, she suddenly got to her feet. Before collapsing on the floor in front of me, with a knife in her back. How could Miss Brett have been stabbed in the back in a beach hut that was empty but for herself and Ray? Yeah, that's a good- that's a, that's a, Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that part myself. Because, like, she was sitting down, apparently. Somewhere amid all the information we've gathered so far, there must be an answer to that question. I take it, then, that the defense has nothing further to add. So, the gallant Yokel student's luck finally runs out. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. In that case, I am ready to deliver my final verdict on this matter. This is a crucial turning point now. I can't establish what really happened. It's over. Where was the real culprit hiding? And how did he or she stab the victim? Hmm. Okay, well I do have one, a, a, one idea. Or at least, I have an idea of where the culprit might have been hiding at any rate. I mean... Like, let's be real, just, like, putting aside the, the logic and whatnot, there's also the fact that, um, of the people introduced so far, uh, there's only one new character, who, besides Ray, who's the defendant, who isn't a returning character. <laughs> so, you know, you're looking a little sus, Mr. Mini memo san Hmm. So yeah, uh, just with that in mind, it, he kind of—he's kind of like the most obvious suspect, and he, he was hiding outside of the hut, right? So, so Zeki's account of what looked like Miss Brett pointing to somewhere back in the hut. Uh, I think would she have known that that? Okay, I, that, that 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 part I'm not exactly sure about. Would she know that he was hiding behind the the, the hut or whatever? Considering he was like stabbed and like and like dying and stuff, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I, I don't really know. But either way, I know part of the solution, and uh, I'm gonna rock with that, if nothing else. Besides, it's not like I'm gonna be like, uh, no, I don't know. Uh, I'm a big dum dum. <laughs> Your Excellency. I respectfully ask you to postpone your adjudication for the time being. Oh? To what end, Counsel? The defense would like to present the court with an alternative theory. An alternative theory that can explain who the victim was actually trying to implicate with a dying gesture. An alternative theory? Aha! None exists! There was someone there was someone else present at the scene who could have committed this crime. Wow! And the victim, Miss Brett, tried to reveal who it was to those around her at the time. By mustering all her remaining strength and pointing a trembling finger in the killer's direction. This is this is fiction. Fantasy. Actually it's more of like a historical uh, period piece, I would say. Ah, uh, very well. As you seem so sure of yourself, Counsel, I am prepared to hear your alternative theory. So, young Ryotaro Narahodo, uh, yes, Your Excellency. You will present your latest theory to the court by means of this plan. At the moment the victim was stabbed, where exactly are you proposing that the culprit was concealed? Hmm... Well, like I said, I, I, I have a pretty good idea, I think. But, uh, living off at, like, a moment like this, 
you know, it's whether well, it's like a potential, uh, actually, it's not much of a cliffhanger considering we know where it's going. Or at least I have an idea of where it's going. But yeah, I'm going to leave things off for here. Don't want to, this episode going too long, you know. Uh, I, I've been enjoying this, this streak of relatively shorter episodes. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I know it's more, more like, I don't know, it's a stylistic choice, right? Like, you either have like, uh, like two videos that are like, you know, 30, 20, 20 to 30 minutes long, or even a little over 30, but... Or, you know, just have, like, one, like, 50-minute long video. But I don't know. Like, I know for some people, they prefer the pacing of, like, a shorter video. So, I'm trying to keep that in mind. So, yeah, I'll leave things off for here. Uh, but, like I said, uh, the case is going good so far. In fact, we're getting somewhere. Uh, though, I still think it's weird to try to say Sezeki Song was being xenophobic. Pretty sure uh, that was, that was Miss Brett. You know, like, again, it, it, knowing her character, that, that seems like something she would do, but regardless, uh, the fact that there's only so many culprit, only so many characters in this first case, it kind of means, it makes it obvious that, uh, who the, who the culprit actually is, you know? But it's always, sometimes it's about the how, or the not the why, or the who, you know? It's like a how done it, you might say. But anyway, next time, we will del- we will f try to unravel this web of lies and deceit. But until then, uh, I will see you around.